So guys, I am back with another Power World video and in this video guide I'm going to showcase to you the bare minimum to set up your very own quarry working family. If you want to set up a workforce out somewhere in the open world away from your base to farm you a certain material i.e. stone or for that metal, coal, pure quartz, sulfur. Today in this video guide I'll show you the bare minimum requirement, everything you need to know about setting this up. Now before we go any further guys, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be with a chance of winning one for yourself or a friend who doesn't have it on Xbox or PC, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. The more of my videos I see you supporting, the more of a chance you have of winning when it comes to me picking that winner from the comments section. So good luck. Okay, so I'm going to showcase to you guys the bare minimum requirements to actually set this thing up. Now what I will say is, if you've got a base already and you ain't a level 10 on that base, you won't be able to do this, you won't be able to set this up elsewhere. You need to be a base level 10, a power box management level 10 before you can create a second base. Now if you're doing this for your first base, that's completely fine, it doesn't matter. Okay, so to do this guys, you obviously need to know where that specific material is out in the open world. But don't show you, I'll show you some of the best uh, locations for individual materials like that ore, that coal, that quartz and that sulfur and you'll see them uh, in a few minutes so stay tuned for them. Now the requirements you need, the materials you need 103 wood, yep, you need 8 stone, 1 powder and fragment and 30 fiber. That is all you need to set up this base, pure, pure, minimal. This will give you a power box, 6 straw beds for the powers I'll showcase you in a second that you want to go out and get a feeding box and a storage container that is all you need to do this okay so the six piles we want we're going to get three transporters and three miners Now the miners themselves i'll show you where to get these in a quick second but first up we want to look for the transporters now for me personally i feel the best transporters early game for you to get are the daydreams which are these things right here i mean there's just something about these i think they're just way better than the rest early game in transporting i mean i've tried and tested numerous ones like the cativas like the sparkies that all have this on but trust me the daydream is by far the best now the daydream comes from nighttime it spawns only at nighttime now there's plenty of places on the map you can see where these come from uh, so go to any of these locations i'm actually based at the very start of the game you can see my base is literally at the very first fast travel point uh, but yeah wait till night time guys and tame yourself three of these daydreams that's all you need just three simple as that then you're good now guys you want to get yourself the dig toys now the dig toys is a little harder to get uh, I'll showcase you guys a location where they appear between a level 15 and a level 25 so you can come here guys and hopefully get the lower level ones if you are new to the game but you can see they have that mining level 3. This is perfect for more or less all rocks in this game. Absolutely perfect for it. Now you can see the locations of where they are. Now I would say avoid top right because that area is just so crazy. In the daytime it's too hot, in the night time it's absolutely freezing. So yeah, so we're going to go to the centre of the map right there. And I'll actually go there guys, I'll cut the video and I'll zoom in a quick second and I'll show you exactly where you'll find these little dudes. Okay, so we are in said location, you can see there's one right there already, this one is a level 19. And this is where you want to be guys, literally centre of the map. The closest fast travel point for me I've got unlocked is this one right here. Yeah, but it's come across guys, it looks like snow but it's actually sand. It is kind of hot but it won't kill you. And all you want to do guys is you want to catch three of these. I mean, you can do this with one, it's just going to be a little slower. You can do this with five, it's going to be way faster. But like I said, for efficiency and bare minimum, I'd go with three. Just grab three of these dudes. I mean, they're quite easy to get. I mean, I might as well guaranteed capture the ultra sphere, but you're going to have to take some of their health down if you're a beginner to the game to use a standard uh, sphere. But yeah, so catch a three of these guys and you are good there. So I'm not fighting you, not now. So now guys, we have the pals, we have the said materials required to do this. 103 wood, 8 stone, 1 powdering fragment and 30 fiber. You now guys want to find and locate that actual spot you want to farm, i.e. or coal, pure quartz or sulfur or even stone. It's up to you, but stone's easy to get. 
Now, what I'll do is I'll showcase you guys at the end of the video, in my opinion, some of the better spots for each individual material. Uh, but right now, guys, I'll just show you how you set this up because you may already have a spot. So, yeah. Okay, so now we have the spot. This is actually a great spot for early on metal farming. If you don't know where this is, guys, it's right here. It's actually not far from where I just caught those dig toises. It's just slightly right and down. We can see from the very start of the game, which is right there. If you come up this way, you'll see it right here. And there we have it, guys. Now, this is a great spot. Like I said, there's plenty of metal rocks here, all rocks. There's actually a skill tree there, which you can go to anytime you want and grab these fruits off it so it's a perfect beginner setup so if you haven't got a base already you can always come here and start your base here and do what i'm going to do from the very very start okay so now you have your spot with your specific material again we're just going to use it all to demonstrate this you want to now put down that power box now you want to make sure the power box is center so it covers all of the materials you want to be farming and you also don't want to block spawns of specific rocks either so i'm just going to put it there just like so and there we have it i'm not going to build it yet because what we want to do guys is now you can see it's there we want to build a storage container just a standard wooden one completely fine and you want to get this to as, as close to that as you possibly can just like so as close to that as you possibly can just like that and now guys we're going to uh, build the food storage or the food box for the for our pals, I'm just going to put that right there, just like so. Now guys, we need to do the beds. Now you want to build six beds minimum again. If you want to come here with more pals, you're going to need more beds. That's the only material uh, you're going to need because beds are made from wood, fiber. Uh, it's 10 wood and 5 fiber each. That's all you're going to need. So if you want to increase your beds, you're going to need to increase your materials. So I'm just going to build six. I want them out of the way. I don't want to block any spawn. So there's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, and there's six. So now that's basically the base setup. I'm just going to quickly build these. Uh, I'll cut the video and resume when I'm done. Okay, so now everything's been built. We now, guys, just add in our pals, our three dig toises and our three transporters. So our dig toises, uh, where are you? There's one. He will get straight to farming. There's two. And we need our third, which I got so much spam in these. Uh, this power box is unbelievable. I should have loads of these to be honest. Let's do my base. Probably page one. Did I miss them? I probably did. Okay, so there's three right there. Okay, so there we go. So those will get to farming. Now, guys, we need to add in our transporters. We'll take the items to said box. Like I said, Daydream is the best early on you can get, but there are many of uh, transporting powers in the game that you could use, it doesn't really matter. I don't actually think I've got three of the Daydreams, to be honest. I know I've got one, because I'm, I'm so advanced in the game already at level 50 and all that, so yeah. Okay, so there's my one Daydream. There we go. You'll see straight away, guys, he's thinking, yep, yeah. let me go and grab that, grab that ore, and you'll see he'll bring it straight to his box. And they'll do this over time with three of them, it's quite quick. Uh, let's just add in a couple more. So let's add in you maybe. And what else? Who else is going to transport for me early on? And you. Level ones, just doing doing the work for us. And they'll just, over time, they'll farm this entire base. And don't forget these rocks will respawn. He's grabbing things from over there, but don't worry about that. Um, yeah, these rocks will respawn and this flow will just be infinite be infinite don't forget guys add in food to your power box that really does help by the way because you, you especially dig toys they get pretty hungry pretty quick so yeah add in that food so they can get to work and that is more or less it guys now the reason that i said to put the uh, storage box right next to the power box is because this is your fast traveler so you can simply once this is full up it's going to be way an absolute ton once you pick it up you're going to be over encumbered so you won't be able to move so you can just simply then just spin around and then fast travel back to your first base now if you wanted to do this for just metal purely metal you could always smelt the metal here but that would require you guys to create yourself 
uh, the bare minimum, you won't, you won't be able to make that again, plus you need electric. This right here, the primitive furnace. You create this, it costs 20 wood, 50 stone, and 3 flame organs, which you get from more or less every single fire pal in this game. But also, if you added this here guys, you would also need to go out, if you haven't got one already, and get yourself something with the kindling a work stability, uh, suitability trait on it, which is more or less 99% of all firepowers in this game. So yeah, any will do, even the early game ones are perfectly fine, ones are like the, the Ruby, ones are like the Fox Parts, so yeah, these are perfectly fine, they all have that kindling stat, obviously the better the stat, the quicker they do it, but if you're a beginner, you'll understand end game chains, end game powers, ain't gonna happen, so yeah, you have to work with what you've got, so again guys, this is the bare minimum, like I said, you can get five of these, you can get six of these dig toises, you can get five gatherers, uh, five transporters, and earn yourself a ton even quicker, but like I said, this is bare minimum, this is how you set it up, I can do an advanced guide for maximum efficiency, which I'll probably do in a few days, uh, but yeah, it really is as simple as that, now on screen now guys, you'll see my opinion, the certain best spots for individual uh, rock materials like ore, which is, this is probably one of the best spots to be honest, we've got coal, we've got pure quartz, and we've got sulfur, Timestamps for everything will be in the video description if you do want to check them out too. But yes, like I said, this is a guide for more or less beginners to the game. How easy it is to set up a second base or even a first base where you can get yourself a little workforce farming that material for you. It really is as simple as this. And there we have it guys. Guys, I hope the video helps you out. If it does, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.